If you're watching this video on YouTube right now, chances are that you're fortunate enough to have access to the internet. What about people who are less fortunate? Currently, it's estimated about 4 billion people, which is more than half the world's population, don't have access to a reliable network. The internet is becoming more important as the world grows to become more connected. Furthermore, did you know that only 35% of the population in developing countries have access to the internet? In both developed and developing countries, the internet is not just a luxury, but a requirement for economic and human progress. But what is the solution to this issue? What can be done to mend this digital divide? Two of the wealthiest men in the world, SpaceX's Elon Musk and Amazon rival Jeff Bezos, are wondering the same. It's not just a question of which company is better, but rather who will win this global internet race. Welcome to Elon Musk Zone. Say goodbye to traditional ways to deliver the internet and say hello to a new type of internet space internet. Granted, wireless networks and ground-based towers are the cheapest way to deliver fast internet to populated areas, but they can't be taken anywhere on Earth. Think about the people who live on isolated mountaintop, a remote village, or even ships at sea. It's not practical or feasible to set up cables and towers in remote areas. However, with the help of satellites, you could easily emit signals from space to anywhere on the planet. And that is where the idea of space internet comes into play. Satellite networks that beam signals from space could overcome this obstacle easily. Now that we know what space internet is, let's discuss what companies are working towards achieving this dream. Currently, the two major players on the market are Elon Musk's Starlink and Jeff Bezos' Amazon Kuiper. Let's begin with the Amazon Kuiper. Kuiper Systems LLC was created in 2019 and is a subsidiary of Amazon. The deployment is also referred to by its project name, Project Kuiper. The mission is to provide low-latency, high-speed broadband connectivity to unserved and underserved communities around the world. The project was announced on the 30th of July 2020, when the FCC officially permitted Kuiper to kick off its plan. Amazon's $10 billion program, Project Kuiper, will send its first satellites into space on nine rockets owned by United Launch Alliance, a joint Boeing-Lockheed Martin venture. It would approximately take up to a decade to deploy all 3,236 satellites planned for the full constellation in order to provide internet connectivity to those in need. According to Amazon, the satellites will transmit data to locations on Earth with latitudes ranging from 56 degrees north to 56 degrees south. If these claims become reality, about 95% of the world's population will be internet connected. Not much has been revealed about Kuiper yet. Amazon has not provided a timeline for the deployment of Project Kuiper's satellites or the start of the internet service. They also haven't revealed how much the service might cost. Moving on, let's see what the competition, Elon Musk, is bringing to the market. SpaceX developed the Starlink satellite broadband constellation. Thousands of small mass-produced satellites in low Earth orbit will interact with specified ground transceivers to form the constellation. Starlink's main aim is to bring internet services to less developed areas while also providing reasonably priced services in urban developed areas. Starlink is the largest satellite fleet in history. The vision to create a communication satellite network was officially announced by SpaceX in January 2015. The first prototype satellite was launched into orbit in 2018. In January 2021, SpaceX launched 60 satellites into orbit from the Kennedy Space Center using the reusable Falcon 9 orbital rocket. As of May 26, 2021, SpaceX has deployed over 1,737 Starlink satellites across dozens of successful launches. However, some satellites were demo or prototype units that aren't functioning parts of the network. The plan is to launch 60 satellites per Falcon 9 flight, which will launch as often as every two weeks in 2021. But what makes Starlink superior to Kuiper? We'll tell you now all the reasons why we think the former might have a slight advantage in this commercial space race. Elon has already deployed 1,300 satellites into orbit out of a planned 12,000. These satellites are much smaller than the ones Amazon is going to unveil, making them easier to launch into space. In some cases, the phrase, the bigger, the better, might not always be the case. We're aware that SpaceX has been around for 19 years. The relative maturity of the company might give Musk a better advantage. Most of the Starlink satellites have been launched by SpaceX rockets. In contrast, Blue Origin recently delayed the launch of its first rocket capable of carrying people and payloads into orbit. Also, don't forget, SpaceX is the only company on the planet with a landable, reusable rocket, which is a mighty advantage. 
Initially, the FCC did not approve Starlink to deploy the satellites in low Earth orbits over concerns that it would create harmful frequency interference and ramp up risks of satellite collisions. But later, the decision was approved since it does not create significant interference problems. This is a major win for Musk since lower orbit requires a lesser amount of energy for satellite placements, providing high bandwidth and low communication latency. Satellites placed in lower orbits are also more accessible for crew and servicing, and this may also be a reason why SpaceX may have an advantage in the space race. Additionally, Amazon has mentioned that they do not intend to sell broadband services directly to consumers. They plan to offer broadband services through partnerships with other companies. Instead of delivering the internet directly to the consumer, Amazon plans to offer it through local firms, which might lead to higher prices. Starlink plans on providing conveniently priced services in developed areas. And finally, Starlink has already released a limited beta version of its internet service. Some early adopters include Washington's Ho Tribe and the State Department of Emergency management. The service requires you to pay $499 for the dish and then $99 a month. Musk has already told customers that he expects the service to hit worldwide availability in 2022. It might take years to bring this big, audacious project to fruition. The race to make the internet more accessible to everyone is not an easy feat to win. However, as technology shows signs of progress and innovations increase, it seems like the day it becomes a reality might not be so far away. Who do you think will win the space race? Do you think Jeff Bezos can thwart his partial defeats and rise to the top? Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications for more. Thanks for watching Elon Musk Zone. See you on the next one.